Hey, Stats Prodigies. Hey, I'm uh, going to look at uh, simple regression using JASP. So I'm going to share my screen here and bring up a, uh, a sample JASP file. This is an employee data set. We've got a lot of variables here. Previous work experience and beginning salary. We're going to look to see if previous work experience is a predictor, the statistically significant predictor for, be, uh, for beginning salary. And uh, we have this information for um, clerical, custodial, and managers. And so you can imagine a manager might make 135,000, but somebody who's in the clerical custodial categories would make significantly less. So what we wanna make sure that we do here is differentiate between these categories. Otherwise, we're, kind of, we're gonna kind of have messy data here. So uh, I'm going to click off these three categories and just look at managers. And uh, let's first um, look at some model assumptions and some descriptive statistics. We wanna make sure that our criterion salary, beginning salary is normally distributed. And so uh, um, that's one of our model assumptions. So I go to descriptive statistics and I put in beginning salary um, and I might uh, ask for some box plots and QQ plots. And, I can see, already see I have some outliers and this does not look very normal, does it? This looks kind of messy. Uh, what do we think is going on here? Well, I can label my outliers and okay, I can see anything, uh, a salary uh, above uh, whatever observation 153 is. So here's someone who's making about 80,000. Here's someone who's making about 60,000. This one looks to be about, I don't know, 52, 53,000. So let's take a look at observation 153 and see what's happening here, because that's certainly messing up our distribution. So I can go down to 153, and here it is. And this is a manager who is making 52,500. So that appears to be an outlier. Um, so what do I want to do here? Well, um, I might uh, go and, and click this um, filter button and I'll put in a beginning salary, and I want anything that's um, less than, um, and what was that value? That value, 153, was 52,500. So 52,500. And so now when I look, ah, this is normally distributed, I've gotten rid of those outliers, this looks much, much better, doesn't it? Good, so now I have a normally distributed criterion variable. Um, let's look at the relationship um, between my uh, predictor variable, previous work experience, and beginning salary. That's always a good thing to have, and we can see that I've got a Pearson R of about 0.4. We know this is gonna be a statistically significant uh, relationship. So when I go and I run my regression, um, I'll click on beginning salary for my dependent variable, uh, previous work experience as a covariate or my predictor. Um, things I want to look at, I would like my descriptive statistics and my means and standard deviations uh, to be identified. I also want to be able to look at some additional model assumptions. I know I have a linear relationship because my Pearson R was significantly correlated. Uh, I want to make sure that my variances are, um, are, 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 not, are, are not heteroscedatic. Uh, a heteroscedatic um, relationship might look like, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, heteroscedacity. Uh, Here you can see a conical shape in the data. Usually you want a linear shape where the variances are all evenly distributed. Here we can see that the variances start narrow and then the error variances get much wider. So you don't want that shape. This is not good. So uh, uh, anyway, um, as, as we look at um, our graph of uh, predicted and residual, um, we can see some heteroscedacity is kind of starts out narrow and gets wider. So this isn't going to be the best uh, 
uh, measure, to be honest with you. There, there, there's some problems here. This is a little ugly. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we, we notice that, you know, looking at our error plots of our, our, of our error terms, our, our, our distribution of our error terms, there is some, some outliers here, which we see here as well. Um, but, Assuming that we're running a robust analysis, we do note that uh, uh, f of 179 equals 15.056, p is less than 0 0.001. We have a statistically significant relationship of previous work experience to beginning salary, accounting for 17% of the variance in the model. Not great, not large, but it's a moderate relationship. This is a moderate relationship. And, uh, um, and then we can see our unstandardized and standardized beta weights. So for every standard deviation unit of increase in beginning salary, there was a 0.4 standard deviation unit of increase in work experience. So uh, four tenths of a standard deviation unit. So that's uh, a little bit of how we do uh, a simple regression in JASP. Uh, hope that's helpful to you. And um, I will uh, see you next time.